It's a shocking number, but two thirds of Americans are overweight or obese. And while diet and exercise are certainly the best way to lose extra pounds, there's now a new way to help remove excess fat and skin that's different than the traditional tummy tuck. 57-year-old Doris Gray is showing off her tummy after dropping two sizes. I have abs of steel. Dr. Matthew Schulman gave Doris a smooth tuck. A tummy tuck is a skin operation and a muscle operation. So ideally, the patients are skinny, have just loose skin and muscles that are weak. Unfortunately, that wasn't the majority of patients. Most of my patients were coming in, and they were 20 to 30 pounds overweight, like the majority of Americans. In the new procedure, surgeons first remove two to three liters of fat, then take off excess skin. But unlike a tummy tuck, they don't cut any muscles. Since I'm not doing any muscle repair, the recovery is much, much quicker. I guess it's vanity, but it made me happy. And I decided to make me happy. I'm Casey Taylor reporting. Dr. Matthew Shulman and his patient Doris, who we just saw on the tape, are both here. But before we show our results, let's show you more of the differences between a traditional tummy tuck and the smooth tuck that Dr. Shulman performed. So in a classical tummy tuck, wider, longer incision, we raise a larger flap of tissue, meaning we release that tissue all the way up to the ribs. We tighten the muscle in the abdomen at the same time to correct that spreading of the muscles, do some liposuction with it, reposition the belly button, a bigger operation in the classical full abdominal plasty or tummy tuck. So what is the difference with your smooth tuck? Well, the smooth tuck is actually very different. Um, and let's look at the animation of the smooth tuck procedure. So first, I start with a patient who might not be ideal for a tummy tuck because they're just a little bit overweight. So we start with very aggressive liposuction, sometimes removing two to three liters of so liposuction. So the fat is more of a problem than the loose skin or Correct. spread muscles. Correct. Gotcha. And once we remove that fat, the skin gets a little loose. We make that incision just like a tummy tuck, which is low and hidden beneath bathing suit or underwear. We remove the extra skin reposition the belly button, and there you have it. But it looks, in this case, less of an incision. You don't go out quite as far, correct? Correct. And focus on more correct. removing that fat with liposuction. Less of an incision and, and obviously less of a recovery. So who's, who's the ideal patient? Well, the ideal patient would be someone who's just a little bit overweight for a tummy tuck. So as you know, a tummy tuck is really a skin and muscle operation. Mm -hmm. This concentrates more on the fat. So, Doris, what, was you, what were your biggest concerns going into this? What bothered you with your tummy? Everyone I went to said I really was not a candidate for liposuction um, or the tummy tuck. And when I went to Dr. Shulman for actually uh, a, a medical procedure and I discussed it with him, he talked to me about this smooth tuck that um, he was doing and he felt it would be ideal for me. Let's take a look at Doris before and after. That's impressive. Big, big improvement. And your recovery wasn't too bad in terms of discomfort and getting no, back to your I, usual I was routine. back at work in a week. So that, that, that's great right in itself. And some yeah. other before and afters you have to share with us? Sure. I mean, you can see that this patient wow. is clearly not a tummy tuck candidate, but with high volume like liposuction, removal of that apron of fat at the same time, this is a one stage operation, back to work in seven days, unrestricted physical activities in three weeks. So this is, this is a great option, and before I developed this procedure, you would probably be talking to this patient about doing a two-stage operation. Liposuction first, come back in a year, and we'll do a formal tummy, tummy tuck. So and this, again, those incisions were, were hidden in the underwear, and these were not extended full abdominoplasty incisions. No, slightly smaller, but obviously everyone's a little different, and if it requires a little bit longer incision, the important thing is that it's below underwear, below bathing suit, completely hidden, and no one really complains about that scar. All right, great option. Certainly. And good Doris results. seems very happy. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm very happy. Well, thank you, Doris. Dr. Shulman, thank you as well. Okay.